Welcome back to Design Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly randomly scatter different objects across your artboard in Illustrator. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to support the channel. All right, so I'm going to go over here to my rectangle tool and just draw out a rectangle there. I'll make it exactly half an inch and then I'll grab my ellipse tool and draw that out right there. And then I'll go to the star tool, just click right here and make sure that it has three points and hit OK. And that's going to lay down a triangle for us. And I'm going to make these different colors here. And now I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to hold down Option and Shift and drag this over. If you're on a Windows, it'll be Alt and Shift. And then I'm going to change the colors of the second set of shapes. And then I'm going to make one more copy again and do the exact same thing. And now we'll color the square red and the circle yellow and the triangle blue. All right, so now we've got three different colors with three different shapes and we have every iteration of color that we can have for these shapes and colors. All right, now I'm gonna select all of these and again, option and shift and drag over here. And then I'll do it one more time and it doesn't matter that it's gone off the artboard. That's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna grab all of these and I'm going to hold down Option and Shift and bring this down just slightly, maybe just a little bit, doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to hit Command D until I go all the way down to the bottom. And now we're going to select all of these, go up to Object, Transform, and Transform each. And for the scale, I'm going to make sure that our proportions are locked. And I'm going to type in 50%. And now we're going to move this horizontally by 5 inches and vertically by negative 5 inches. I'm going to set a rotation angle of 75 degrees. We're going to transform the objects, uncheck transform patterns, click on scale corners, and then click on random. And as you can see, we've quickly gone from order to chaos. And now we'll just hit OK. And with everything still selected, everything is ungrouped from each other. So we're going to go over here to align and go to align to artboard. And now we'll click on distribute spacing, vertical distribute space, and then horizontal distribute space. And then I'll select everything and then we'll basically do it one more time. This time I'm going to leave the scaling at 100% and then just change the vertical scaling until I get something that I like. Basically, I want to make sure that there aren't any large sections that have big gaps in them. All right, I think these settings are looking good, so I'll hit OK and then make sure we have Align to Artboard selected and then we'll do this one more time. And then we can group everything together and center it onto the artboard. And now we'll uncheck Constrain Width and Height Proportions and I'm going to take off two inches from the width and the height. And let's give this a little bit of a darker background just to kind of raise up the impact a little bit. All right, that's looking really cool. And as you can see, you can quickly create something like this just from laying down a few shapes in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit like and subscribe to support the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.